In this video we're going to look at some general real life applications of percent. So we'll do these six examples. Example one is test scores. Example two, family budget. Example three, chemistry with hydrogen peroxide. Example four, number of students. Example five, alcohol content in beer, or it could be anything, something like that. Example six, defective parts. Okay, so let's have a look at example one. <clears throat> An English student answered 72 questions correctly on a 90 question test. What percent of the questions did she answer correctly and what percent were answered incorrectly? Okay, so what you've got to do is and by all means you can write, the, some students like to write this down. If you want to write the, these real life problems down, you know, it helps you to really understand what what this is all about. So by all means take your time and write it down. And press pause if you need to. And then we're going to try to figure out what what are we trying to do here? What, what, what do we need to do to get the answer? Okay. So if you've pressed pause and written it down if you want to, and then at this point, right, we've got to figure out, okay, so you got 72 correct out of 90, and we'll just start with this question. What percent of the answers did she answer, of the questions did she answer correctly? We want to know 72 is what percent of 90, don't we? Or you could say, um, I guess we're used to saying, <coughs> what percent of 90 is 72? I guess we're used to seeing it this way. Or 72 is what percent of 90? Same type of thing, right? So um, we had a way of turning this guy into an equation what percent we would put in a letter of multiply by 90 90 is equal sign and 72 72 so you have the percentage times 90 equals 72 or to get the p by itself what you need to do <coughs> p is multiplied by 90 so you need to divide by 90 on both sides, right? So the percentage is 72 over 90. Um, and like like I said, some of you guys like to just come up with this fraction right away. That's fine. 72 out of 90 is what you got. That's her score. What's that as a percentage? Well, you've got to turn this thing into a percentage, right? So we can go 90 into 72 and see what you get. 72.0, how about that? So 90 into 72 won't go, 90 into 720. Well, 8 nines is 72, so I'm gonna guess 8. So 8 zero, zero, 8 nine, 72, subtract, and we get remainder 0. And of course this decimal point is here, so I need that decimal point the answer up here. So I get 0 0.8. 0 0.8. What is that as a percentage? I've turned the fraction into a decimal. Now we get that as a percentage. You need to move the decimal point two spaces to the right, huh? And that becomes 80 percent. So she got 72 questions out of 90 correct. That is 80 percent or 80 per 100 if you want to think about it that way. So if there were 100 questions and she kept doing uh, guess or kept working at the same rate, she would have got 80 out of 100. Right. That's the same thing as kind of getting 80 out of 100, right? Okay. Um, now, the next question is what percent were answered incorrectly? Well, tell me. How are you going to figure that one out? What percent were answered incorrectly? 
Let me ask you this. How many questions were answered incorrectly? How many questions were answered incorrectly? Well, it was 90 on the test. What's 90 subtract 72? That's 18, right? So we're asking, basically, we want to know what percent of 90 is 18, right? We want to know what percent of 90 is 18. And you could turn that into an equation, P times of means multiply 90 is 18 and divide both sides by 90 and the percentage is 18 over 90 and if you do the division you'll end up with um, if you do the division you'll end up with 0 0.2 which becomes skip the decimal point one two spaces to the right 20% Okay, so if you work it out, you'll get 20%, or you could have guessed that, because look, <clears throat> if you get 80% correct, that must mean that you must have 20% incorrect, right? Because you missed 20%. If you got 80% correct, then do you, and th these have to add to 100%, right? All the questions, right? So you could have just guessed that as it was without working anything out. Okay, example two, family budget. A family spends $750 every month on rent. Month. If the family's income each month is $2,000, what percent of the income is spent on rent? Okay, so by all means, you know, press pause and try it yourself or whatever and see what you come up with. But, or you can write this whole thing out again just to try and understand the problem better. If you write the, these things down, it will help you understand what the problem is asking. <laughs> but uh, we want to know 750 is what percent of 2000? I'm going to write that way just for fun. 750 is what percent of 2000? We can do it that way if we like and then turn this into an equation. So 750, 750 is, how do you write is with math language? The word is equals, right? How about what percent? What percent? And then we've got to do of, and then we've got to do 2000, right? So what percent becomes what? Let's say P, right? Of of becomes multiplied by and 2000 2000 right so we have 750 is equals p times p times 2000 and if I want to get the p is the percent is what I need if I want to get the percent by itself I need to divide this side by 2,000, right? And if I do that, I must divide this side by 2,000 also. So I need to calculate 750 divided by 2,000. Now, instead of doing the long division right away, we might want to look at <coughs> maybe putting this in lowest terms, first of all, right? So you can cross the zeros off, at least, to, be, to begin with. So that's 75 over 200, right? Now, 25 goes into top and bottom, so does 5. Let's do 5 just to make it easier. 5 into 7 goes once, remainder 2. What's 5 into 25? 5 into 25 is 5 times, right? 5 into 20 goes 4 times. <coughs> 5 into 0 is 0 times. So we have 15 over 40. Now we can simplify that further, right? 5 into 15 three times, five into forty, eight times. So we got three eighths. 
So the answer is so far p is three eighths. <coughs> so the rent is three eighths of the income. But we need to calculate this as a percentage, right? So the first thing we need to do is turn the fraction into a begins with D, turn the fraction into a decimal, right? So you've got to go eight into three and see what you get. Three point zero zero zero, right? Eight into thirty. Three times. The decimal point goes up here. Put a zero here, right? Three times eight, twenty-four. Subtract. Uh, thirty minus twenty-four, six. Bring a zero down. Eight into sixty. Eight eighths is sixty-four. So less than that would be seven. Let's try seven. Seven eighths, fifty-six. That'll work, right? Sixty minus fifty-six, four. Bring down another zero. What's eight into forty? Five times. Five eighths is forty. Subtract. Remainder zero, right? Remainder zero. So we get zero point three seven five. So the rent is three zero point three seven five of the income, and we have to turn that into a percentage. How do you turn a decimal into a percentage? So we have the percent, the amount. It's it's three. It, it's seven fifty over two thousand, which became three eighths, which became zero point three seven five. Now we have to turn that decimal into a percent. How do you do that? Just move the decimal point one two spaces to the right. Thirty seven point five per hundred percent, right? So the rent is 37.5 percent of the total income, okay? Yeah, and you know, they usually advise that your rent be no more than 25 percent of your income, or one quarter. Anything more than that is a bad idea. So anyway, you need a smaller house or a bigger income there, it seems. Okay, Example three, hydrogen peroxide. Have you ever seen a hydrogen peroxide bottle? Well, here it is there, hydrogen peroxide. If you look closely, it might say, usually it'll say about 3% on it, see that? 3% hydrogen peroxide in the bottle, okay? It is a, it is a, oh, I guess, why, why did I do 36? Sorry, this this is a 32 ounce. Sorry, not 36. 32 ounce, 32 ounce bottle. Okay, we've got 32 fluid ounces here. See that? 32 fluid ounces. Okay, so how much pure hydrogen peroxide is in this 32 ounce bottle that is marked 3% H2O2 hydrogen peroxide? Okay. So what do I need to do? And what does this mean? This basically means that, um, and if you look at it, active ingredient hydrogen peroxide 3% and inactive ingredient purified water. What this means is we have 3% hydrogen peroxide, I, sorry, hydrogen peroxide and we have 97 percent water that's what's in this bottle you're buying water mostly what a waste of money huh yeah maybe we should buy pure and then mix it or something like that anyway but you're buying three percent hydrogen peroxide 97 percent water right now so and this is 32 fluid ounces so the question is how how many ounces of this is the pure hydrogen peroxide. So in other words, if I just wanted to make this bottle, and if I had pure hydrogen peroxide, how much pure hydrogen peroxide would I put in here and then fill it up with water to get the same uh, concentration, right? So what I want to know is how much is 3% of 
32 ounces, right? I want to figure out 3% of 32 ounces. So go ahead and figure that, figure that out. <coughs> so 3%, first of all, you should write that as a decimal. Turn 3% into a decimal. The decimal point is here, move it one, two spaces to the left, and we get 0 0.03, or 0 0.03. What does of mean? Of means multiply, right? Multiply by 32, right? So 0 0.03 times 32. Multiply that and see what you get. 3 twos is 6. 3 threes is 9 and then 0 times that we get a whole bunch of zeros let's not bother with that we have one two decimal places in the question so we're gonna have one two decimal places in the answer so point 96 or 0 0.96 so this becomes 0 0.96 so the answer is 0 0.96 ounces of pure hydrogen peroxide is contained in this bottle okay and so almost one ounce so basically if you, if you took one ounce of pure hydrogen peroxide put it in the bottle and then fill it up with water you would have the same concentration level right now I want to ask you this and see if you can give me the answer here how many ounces of water is in the bottle If there's 0 0.96 ounces of hydrogen peroxide, how many ounces of water is in there? What would you do? Would you go take the total amount, 32, and subtract 0 0.96, right? 32.00, subtract 0 0.96. Does that make sense? that would give you the 97 percent amount of water right so subtracting turn this into a one and bring the one over here that becomes ten but I need something over here so that becomes nine and that becomes ten ten minus six is four nine minus nine is zero one minus zero is one this is three decimal point goes here so we have thirty one point zero four ounces of water in the bottle, right?